I'm going. Okay. Hey y'all, what's over here? Tonight we're doing healthy recipe. We are doing a cauliflower crust pizza. We're gonna, I'm gonna make you guys a pizza, but we're gonna use this cauliflower as the crust. So, what you're gonna need, two cups of cauliflower, two cups of, cheese, of shredded cheese, two eggs, and then obviously more cheese to put on it, your sauce, which instead of putting like marinara, I'm gonna put pesto on mine, and whatever toppings you want. I have some Italian sausages I cook that we're going to go ahead and cut up and put on there. So the first thing you need to do is you cut the bottom of the head of the lettuce off, or cauliflower off, and then you need to get your four inches off here, your little nubs. So. And my food processor, we have to do it in stages because it won't fit. But you probably won't even need this whole head. So just break it down. And you, you, if you don't have food processor, you can use a blender. Or a ricer because you're basically, we're going to turn this into like a rice. Okay, so now we got the food processor pretty loaded. Okay. Sorry, did you want to see? No, I got it. Now we're just going to boss this up. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take our bowl, we need two cups of it, take our blade out, and this is a three cup, as you can see that line right there says three cups, you probably can't see it right now but it says three cups. So. I need my rubber spatula thing. Wasn't quite prepared. So, then we're going to take all of this, put it in the bowl. So that's about half a head of lettuce. So you're going to get about two pizzas out of a head of cauliflower, not lettuce. Yes. Okay, so now, move over here because we're by the pan more light for you. So now what we're going to do is to our cauliflower that we got all nice and riced. This is what you want it to look like. Nice and nice and fine. We're going to add two cups of cheese. And while I'm doing this I have the oven preheating to 450 because you want your oven at 450 degrees. You know what? I ain't even going to measure. We're going to guesstimate. Call that about good. So we're going to put our cheese in, our cauliflower, and then our two eggs.
minus the shells. We don't want no eggshells. Okay, now we just need to need to mix this up and get it mixed really, really good. Okay. So we're going to just keep mixing until this is mixed too well. Honestly, the best way to mix this is with your hands. Do you want seasoning in there before you stick your hands in there? I have a free one. Okay. We're going to get this. You want this mixed super good. And if you see that it's looking kind of eggy, which this isn't, just add a little bit more cauliflower to it. And now... We're just going to take some Italian seasoning. This step is optional. We're going to put some Italian seasoning. It's almost empty. We're going to put some Italian seasoning in here. Now let's mix that up. Remember, this here is going to be the crust of your pizza. So, you know. Season it as you would uh, for your pizza crust. Okay. Now, what you need to do is you need a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. Not wax paper, not aluminum foil. It has to be parchment paper. Now, you're going to take your cauliflower crust here. And you're going to do... Now you're just going to spread it out. Try to spread it out evenly here. Pack it down. Press it in your pan. Just try to level it out. Looking good already. Mm-hmm. Okay, and now you can leave, just pack this in, try to make it about even. You know, if you see one spot's thicker, like right here, than the other, just pack it in there and smoosh it around. Okay, now, that looks good. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to put it in the 450 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes or until golden brown every oven runs differently so make sure you you watch your oven but we'll be back with you in just a minute all right so we took this out in my oven it took about 20 minutes we want it golden brown like you see and as you can see see it's like regular crust see it's not burnt or anything it's golden brown Okay, now we're going to start topping it. So we're going to put some pesto. But you, this is where you can put your marinara sauce or garlic, sauce. garlic butter, ranch, barbecue sauce, whatever kind of sauce you want on your pizza, right? Yep. Okay, so we're going to put our sauce on here. Like I said, I chose pesto because those of you who watch the channel and know, I love pesto. I've even shown you how to make it from scratch and that's the best kind is homemade pesto. Okay, so then I just got some sweet onion or sweet peppers. So we're going to throw some, throw some peppers on there. Okay. Now with that head of cauliflower, you will make two pizzas. Two of these pizzas. The other one, the crust is in the oven now. So, one head of cauliflower you'll get two pizzas out of. Depending on the size of the head of cauliflower, but the size I had, we got two. 
And let's throw some of this Italian sausage. Yeah, I have, I've pre-cooked the sausage. And then I just sliced it at an angle. Just like that. And we're going to... You could grind it up. You could leave it off. Put whatever your toppings on the pizza you want. Whatever you like. Looks good. Okay. And now, get a handful of freshly chopped green onions. Sprinkle them on there. Right, and remember guys, like I just said, this is your pizza. I'm topping it for me and Tiffany, but if you got to top it for you. And now we're gonna pizza, so now we gotta put our cheese on. I'm gonna go sparingly on the cheese. So we're gonna go that good. Okay, and now we're gonna put this back in the oven for about 10, 10, yeah, about 10 minutes, just long enough to melt the cheese. Then we'll be back with you. Alright, so we've taken them out of the oven. They put them back in long enough just to melt the cheese. And now you just cut them up and serve them. Okay. I'm going to attempt to pick this piece up for you guys. But there you go. You can see that? Yep. Fresh out of the oven, cauliflower crust pizza. You guys give it a try. Really good. Leave your comments below and tell me what you think of this. Make sure you go over to Gaming on the Corner and support the nephews. They have a NES Classic giveaway going on until Friday the... I'm trying to think what Friday it would be. 27th. Friday the 27th. So make sure you go over there and get in on that giveaway. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Links are in the description for that. And the nephews, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube channel. We'll catch you all down the road.